Right, hey, what's up everybody? It's KB here and welcome to Windows 11 update. And I make these videos whenever we get the new build or new update for the Windows 11. Last week, we didn't get any update for the Windows 11, but we did get the Windows 11 beta, finally. So I have a good news for anyone who is using the windows 11 dev build but they want to use a beta now so actually last week microsoft uh, released the beta build and uh, they didn't push any update to the dev build so we can switch to the beta from dev great so let me show you here actually uh, if you go to the windows insider program and you're using uh, the dev build as you can see i'm using the dev build if i click on it and there is actually a option to switch to the beta channel and uh, i'm not going to explain both of that you know what dev and beta channel are all you need to understand here is that beta channel is much stable version than the dev channel so that's all you need to understand. So people who are looking to switch to the beta channel, this is good time. Uh, Microsoft gave us one week, but uh, even after this new update, uh, build 22,000.120, we can still switch to the beta channel. And this build is actually uh, available for both dev and beta channel so basically maybe microsoft is giving us more time to switch to the beta channel if we want to but i'm gonna stay with dev yeah uh, it's up to you beta is recommended it's much stable than the dev channel so it's a good time to upgrade to the windows 11 if you really want to and just use the beta channel it will be stable good one yeah now let's get into the what's new in this build and uh, i said it already i think uh, the good news is that this build is available on both dev and beta channel so now let's get into what's new in this build so first of all as you know uh, there is always a blog post about the new build and you can always read what are the new changes what are the new features so yeah i will put link in the description for the blog post if you don't like to watch the video you will you like to read then you can go here and read all the changes fixes and all that so now let's get into what's new in this build so first of all in the task preview uh, there is a icon change close icon basically so if you hover your mouse and uh, the close icon is in center now it's not aligned with uh, the edge it's in like it now matches the design of the windows 11 very good and uh, second feature actually this is the biggest feature in this build but i don't really use it uh, it's in widget they have added the new widget called family safety so if you use microsoft family safety feature then yeah uh, you can control and see all the things here so that's for that i really don't use widgets <laughs> maybe someday they will add something cool there so i'll start using the microsoft widget but for now i don't but if you do good for you <laughs> Another big change is in File Explorer. Uh, remember, a few builds ago, they added the new button in the File Explorer, which is called New. If you click on it, all the options will be available right at one click. Before this, it was compact like this. We have to click on that and, you know, it was something like this. But now, everything is simple if you click on it uh, you will see all the option that is available here without needing to uh, click another option it is not compact anymore it's simple and you know everything is easy to access and uh, next feature is for microsoft team chat again i don't use it because i don't have anyone to talk with all right <laughs> but i'm gonna show you what is the new feature at least i can give you the demo 
so uh, they have added the notification badge system so similar to phones if you use uh, android phone or iphone and you let's say for example use whatsapp whenever you get a new message new notification it will show you a icon something like this on top of the icon uh, which will say how many notification you got how many messages you got one two three four five so it's a badge system you're gonna get that in microsoft team chat that is available for windows 11 so that's that all right next feature uh, actually it's not a feature it's just a tweak uh, you know you can have multiple uh, desktops and uh, you can change wallpaper for every single desktop that you create now if you change you know wallpaper and click on the choose background I'm, I'm making you guys confused I know that uh, now instead of opening this settings app on the first desktop it will actually open it in the desktop where you want to change the wallpaper it's just a tweak so if i go to my main desktop you can see the settings app is not here so it's in here because i want to change the wallpaper for this desktop uh, good tweak very good one and uh, that's it these are the all the changes visually available and uh, there are a few more changes you can also go there and check by yourself uh, as i said i will put link in the description for this blog post here uh, you can go there it will take you to my site from there you can get this link you can get the link to visit this site and uh, read all the changes fixes you know there are so many things going on uh, you should actually visit the blog post but uh, for now that's it hope you enjoyed it and uh, now since we have got the new beta channel uh, you know i don't know why but microsoft is still pushing same update to the beta and dev the only reason i can see is they are giving us the time to switch to the beta because beta is more stable and it can be updated to the latest final build too but if you stick to the dev build uh, you won't be able to go to the final build you will have to do the clean install so maybe that's why microsoft is still giving you or giving us time to switch to the beta if you wish to so maybe next week we will only get update for the dev build and uh, you know dev builds will get updates faster and they will be unstable maybe uh, at least compared to beta build so if you want the stable experience uh, you should go for the beta build beta build will get uh, late update maybe once a month twice a month but uh, mm -hmm. as of now microsoft is pushing at least one update weekly for the dev builds so maybe that will change or something like that okay i'm making you guys confused that's it see you in the next build and uh, let's see what happens we will talk in the next build that's it for now hope you enjoyed it and just in case if you don't know how to get the windows 11 iso file i have actually made a video on that you can go there watch that and uh, get your windows 11 iso file that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye